Hello again. Um, yeah, let's hop right into this. I think you guys know where I'm going with this. I did not have this recording a minute ago because I was just screwing around and raiding a few buildings, and I, I really did not expect this to work because I thought it was patched, but... Yeah. So... I've been putting these in in stacks of five. And then I threw in some other stuff. And I don't know if that's what helped it or not. Because uh, today is day 60. And I just finally made my first sale. And I had this thing, like all this stone. And then nothing was happening. So I threw in just a few engines. And uh, I don't even remember how many engines I threw in, honestly. So... I'm thinking that you also have to throw in just some other random nonsense to kind of get the machine working, you know, to get the, like, the invisible customer initially interested in the, you know, get, getting that whole process rolling. So, I don't even know how much I sold. Good lord. Okay. <laughs> um, is this how much I have on me? Or is how much is coming to me? Wow. That, uh, that might make things a little bit too easy. Good lord. Okay. So this must be the money that I have coming my way left in the machine, which is over 9 million dukes. <laughs> wow. Okay. So right here, it looks like three stacks sold. Three sold here. Two sold here. Three sold here. Four sold here. One, one, three. And for all I know, there could have been some where they bought all five stacks. Um, so, I, yeah, I guess this still works. And I guess the secret was to... Was to just throw in some other stuff to kind of prime the pump, so to speak. So... That's all I had for you, really. Um, I'm just going to build some loot boxes. And then I guess if you want to stick around, I will also explain... Um, how the vending machine thing works. I explained it in a video before for a different alpha. And it works uh, apparently the same, except you have to add something else in there, apparently. So let me get this started, because I will probably need some boxes now. OK. So, how this works is, oh, don't want to do that. Wow, like I'm all flustered now because that, that completely threw me off. I did not think this was still working. So, <laughs> uh, what was I doing? All right, well, I'll take some of these, and... Oh, yeah, that's right. 
Yeah, I blew through most of my stone because I, I, I've been throwing it in that vending machine, but that's okay. We'll just grab some more out of the machine. So here is how to do what I just did. And in Alpha 20, it would only let you rent one machine. Yeah, see, it won't let me rent one. But here's what you would do. Is you'd come up to one of these machines. And these are, these are the uh, machines that are owned by the traders. This is not the kind that you can buy and place on your own. Those are only for other people other players, and um, those only work, I believe, in multiplayer. These work in single player, and as it turns out, this also works in multiplayer, as I am playing on a server at the moment. So, you'll come up to a machine, and I don't know if you can have more than one at different traders or not, but you certainly don't need to, because that's just insane. But, um... Yeah, so you come up to where it says vending machine rental. Oh, and, and one last thing, too, is I don't know if this works on, on console. I know that this works on PC, but if you're playing this on a Xbox or PlayStation or whatever other platform it's, it's available on, I don't know if this will work or not, honestly. So uh, come up to the rentable machine, interact with it, go over here to the rent icon, and then there will be the option to rent. It'll cost you 2,500 dukes for every 30 days. I'd recommend renting it out for several at, at a time. That way you don't forget. Uh, so, for example, this expires day 203. I've got this for like another 100 days. But I can still, now that I can afford anything. So now I've got this until day 293. So what you do... Pull these back out of here. Yeah, why not? I'm just going to take them all. That way I can better keep track because, like I said, I keep them in stacks of five. So what you've done is you've rented your machine. All right, perfect. So now you got to pick the stuff that you want to put into the machine. So uh, stone is what we're going to be doing. Stacks of stone. And I prefer to keep it in fives. That way, if something does sell, you can kind of keep an eye on how many things sold. So, and apparently, like I said, uh, I, I let this sit here like this for 60 days. And then just a couple of days ago, I added these in here. And that seems, I don't know if it was the drone or the engines or if, if any random thing, like maybe some ammo or something would work. I, I really don't know, but... Whatever I did here got it working again. So this is saying I still have <laughs> nine frickin' million. Oh, Lord. And the problem is, is that you can't find solar cells anywhere. So I have nothing to spend all this money on. Like, I'm, I'm literally just going to have to smelt a few million. And then my forges will be full of brass. And then I'm still going to have way too much. So... <laughs> Anyway, that's how that works. Um, when you first approach the machine, by the way, I, I, I should have pointed this out. I don't know if it's a bug or, or what, but when you first approach it, unless you just already happen to know, oh, hey, this is now a four or a three or two, something definitely sold, it doesn't say anywhere, it, like up here, but like when you first approach it, unless they changed something, I, I might not have paid much attention, but this number wasn't even showing up in here. Nothing will show up until you hit this collect button. Then when you hit collect, it pops in whatever number you have that it, that it does not put, that does not fill or fit into your inventory. So, um, I'm really happy to announce that this still works. Uh, it, well, I mean, at least for you computer people, um, whether you're playing solo or multiplayer. So that is really good news. Um, I really don't know what else to say about that. I'll, I'll have to try to find some cool stuff to do, to do with all the Dukes and, uh, 
make another video and and I still have my mining video uh, coming out. I got most of the stuff recorded for it. Uh, so if you do need to figure out how to get just a ridiculous amount of stone to do this, uh, stay stay tuned for my next video, uh, which will be coming out in the next... Oh, I should have it polished in the next two or three days, I'd imagine. So, yeah, in the meantime, go out and get rich. <laughs>